Hello everyone, I'm Attacker Simulator 2 here, and today, recently, Nintendo has announced the next Nintendo Direct, which is to this week, tomorrow, and it's roughly 40 minutes, and the time is 3 p.m. Pacific time through 6 p.m. Um, Eastern time. My golly, Emily Rogers was right. If you don't know who Emily Rogers is, then um, it's a user who actually predicted the Smash for Switch thing last year during March, and... And Emily Rogers got it right again, because last week, um, Emily Rogers said that it, that the Nintendo Direct will be coming next week, which is to, which is tomorrow. Especially Sabi, who predicted a lot of things right, and I'm not joking. Go see Sabi and so, like search up Sabi Twitter user Twitter, and then bam, you you get Sabi. And right now, we what what are we expecting for Nintendo Di for this um Nintendo Direct? Well, guys, uh, I recently made this video about a week ago, and right now, um, and, uh, and right now we are expecting a lot of things. And the only two things are confirmed is Luigi's Mansion Three, which is my, f which is my gonna be my favorite this year, and Pokemon Sword and Shield. I'm not excited about Pokemon Sword and Shield only because, uh, because I mean, I never played a Pokemon game before. Yes, I'm serious, and not only that. I've, I've actually, because they actually removed Mega Evolutions. I want them back. And the National Pokédex. If you guys don't know what it is, I, I keep, I think I've been hearing it, but it's things you can transfer your, like, past generation Pokémon. And people were not happy about it. And if you don't know what I mean, go, like, right here in this video. Just right here during E3. Look really closely to the ratio of likes and dislikes. And look. You look, 85,000 dislikes just because of the National Pokédex and they remove Mega Evolutions, which, I mean, that's sad, but they, I guess the Dynamax is cool. Luigi's Magic 3 is going to be my most favorite game this year, like I said, and that game comes out next month, this Halloween. And fun fact, did you know that, that Luigi's Magic 3 was actually supposed to be in the Wii U? Yeah, who, who would have known? I mean, what could possibly go wrong with the Wii U? Um, I mean, I mean, if the game would be good, but on the Wii U, though, nah. But today, I'm gonna predict what's gonna be happening for the Wii for Nintendo Direct tomorrow. And right now, um, the co only thing that's confirmed is Pokemon Sword and Shield and the Witch's Mansion Three. Now, if you remember that I made this video a week ago. I did mention Final Fantasy Freddy's for the Switch, and right now, um, and you guys don't know what I mean, it's because Scott Cotton, the creator of Final Fantasy Freddy's, on the Steam announced this. Console ports, 70% complete, and it's gonna be new improved HD ports, and it's gonna be on the Android, iOS, the Switch, Xbox, and PlayStation. And, and we won't be seeing them before the end of 2020, and, and right now we're expecting. I'm expecting this to happen because it's about because 2019 is 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 like about to end right now. This year has been quick for some reason. And the Final Fantasy Freddy's ports, it since it's 70 percent complete. What I mean, we're gonna expect something new for for this for like this this as well. Wait, what else did I mention in this video? Let me let me go check for a sec. All right, I checked it back just for a sec. And I actually mentioned we're gonna need a Paper Mario remastered, and um, and what's remastered for Paper Mario? The Thousand Year Door. Yep, guys. If you guys never didn't heard about this whole remastered thing, it's been going on on Twitter, and it started by a user, a YouTube user known as Arlo, where he made a petition to see Nintendo and Intelligent Games to make a remaster for Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, and why exactly? Well, go check Arlo's video for a sec, and you, and he'll explain everything. And not only that, because of the host, like I didn't remember mention in this video, um, right here. And I'm and I said I'm expect because of the characters, the personalities, the story, the whole the whole like intensity, everything. And right and right now, um, oh yeah, I didn't mention Super Mario Maker Two DLC. Because we haven't gotten that much, um, because the, they'll remember the whole online thing. Because recently Nintendo I like, announced there was gonna be online, online with friends, and you should have done it at the beginning though. But hey, and we might also get some new game modes 
for like Mario Maker 2 because we because if you do remember what I said in the video, I said that there was gonna be that and like 3D World and it says extra game modes on top and with the modes with plural modes with plural. And right now we're expecting character and we're expecting like we're expecting something from Mario Maker 2 right now since it's already better than Mario Maker for the Wii U. And like what else did I mention? Oh yeah, uh, Mario Sunshine and Odyssey 2. I'm gonna say um, I might because it, and might I say Sunshine 2? Well, I remember about a couple weeks ago, Nintendo posted a Twitter page. Well, not posted, but they posted a photo of Mario eating a watermelon with the words Sunshine and Odyssey. Now, I can't. To me, I really doubt that it will happen. But seeing that would be quite interesting. And this, and like I said before. Mario Sunshine hasn't been meant hasn't been a thing since two thousand one, I think. No, two thousand two, and that, and I don't think Nintendo has ever mentioned a game for a while. And Odyssey two might happen, but the thing is, like twenty twenty is gonna be a big year for Nintendo. But we're expecting a new winter, like winter for the Nintendo Switch right now. To me, I mean, though, though I did make a joke in some person's video that I'm gonna say, that I said, We're gonna get Hotel Mario 2 service sh shenanigans in fall of 2020. I mean, that's a dumb joke, but, I mean, for some reason, people like it, though. And, finally, um, okay, I'm expect- I did mention this, though. I would mention there was gonna be Banjo-Kazooie release date since there was a whole thing, since there was a whole- because 7-Eleven actually showed a poster, a Banjo-Kazooie with Link's Awakening, and that poster will be taken down until the 15th of September. And we might get him real soon, who knows, possibly next week, or possibly after the poster was taken down, or four days after Link's Awakening comes out. I'm expecting that. And I did mention the Fort Fighter, and the Fort Fighter right now, um, recently, on the first day of September... Push Dustin um, recently said this that Challenger Pack 4 was leaked by Nintendo themselves, and I did make the video about that yesterday. No, a couple like a couple days ago on the first day of September. And right now, um, it says here that the that the rep for Fort Fighter is gonna be from SNK Corporations, which they made games like Fatal Fury, uh, Metal Slug, and King of Fighters. And the recent thing is that I heard Sabi, I think, uh, has mentioned a character known as Terry Bogard. And right and right now, I've seen YouTubers saying that Terry Bogard is gonna be confirming is gonna be confirmed for the Smash Bros. Um, Fort Fort Fighter as a DLC character. Which to me, it's weird because I have never played as I never played any of the SNK games. I have never played Fatal Fury, Metal Slug. Or King of Fighters, but and if, and also King of Fight um, SNK is basically a rival to to like Capcom, and they did make a crossover together, which is SNK versus Capcom, where they fight each other, obviously. So to me, it's kind of more of a Street Fighter thing. But since I never heard, Ter but here's the thing: um, Terry's move set can actually be right here. It's martial arts and wh whatever you say, whatever how you even say it, and a cheat. It's like. Um, Hakio Kozeken Chi techniques. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that wrong. But right now, Terry is kind of likely to be in Smash. I mean, would I rather have anyone else than just Terry? Like, I mean, I mean, me, to me, I want Crash Bandicoot. And please don't hate me for this, but Waluigi. Nah, I'm just joking, but. But Terry, I mean, I might be fine with that. I mean, I'm fine with any character right now. Because I was fine with Joker because I'm surprised he was in the game. And that kind of inspired me to go watch Persona 5 gameplay. Hero is... Oh my goodness, that's something I really expected for some reason. Because he's been having a lot of talk since like since Joker was announced. Banjo-Kazooie's been like announced for like talked as a fighter for nearly two decades. Two decades right now. And that was like a year after his game release, and that was like 1998. That's when his game released. 
Terry, on the other hand, would be would be just fine to me, to be honest. Since not a lot of games from fighting games is represented in Smash Bros. Ultimate. I mean, you could. I mean, yes, Smash Ultimate in the Smash Bros. series is actually a fighting game. But having fighting games franchises in a fighting game would be just quite interesting. I like Mortal Kombat, but I really want to see how this this Terry Bogard works. And maybe he could have a female out. If you guys don't know why I said a female out, because there's a game known as SNK Heroes, and they put Terry as a female. So, I mean, it would be quite funny and interesting at the same time, since we haven't got, because hey, female representatives, why not? I mean, yeah. So, so yeah, that's going to be my prediction for, like, um. oh yeah, also there's going to be Overwatch for the Switch. I forgot to mention that, since... They announced a case for Overwatch before, like, Overwatch case for the Switch before it was taken down by Amazon. Yep. So, we're expecting Overwatch for the Switch, and I'm gonna, okay, I respect your opinion. Tracer would not be in Smash, but Overwatch will be in the Switch. So, yeah, guys, that's gonna be it, and I think that's all I could ever thought of. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit the like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell for more videos. And what do you think of my predictions? Do you think this will be, do you think that might happen? Do you think it'll be interesting? And what do you think of this SNK rep and being Terry? I mean, would you find it interesting or would you just find it meh or you prefer someone else? I like Crash, but I guess, I guess he'll be in the next Smash game or the Final Fighter. So yeah, and wait, when will he come out? Either November or December. That's kind of my prediction, but hope you guys enjoy. See you later. Remember this, though. Once a legend, always a legend.